So in this video, I'm quickly going to show how we can use Typeflow to create a path simulation. Um, for that, I'm going to create a circle first. And I'm going to give it around 250 radius. You can just increase the steps um, to maybe 45 around that. So this is going to be our path. And what we can do, we can add a noise modifier. So I'm just going to go to our modifier list, add noise. Maybe scale down it quite a bit. Let's see how it looks. Uh, we're going to put the strength around 100 centimeter for each axis. We can turn on the animate noise and it looks something like this. So I'm going to change the scale a little bit to more fluid shape. Um, you can change the frequency and check the frequency just like that, how it looks. So, um, so maybe just change it like that and it looks quite okay. What uh, the next thing we can do, obviously, we'll need a type of icon somewhere here. Then um, go to the helpers. We need over here from the type flow, we need a tie icon. I'm just going to create the tie icon. So this is going to be the beginning point. Then um, we'll just click on the, we need to open the um, type flow editor. Go to our modifier, open editor. We need the birth object and for now what I'm going to do I will keep the total particle of the number would be around 5000 I have kept it like that we'll need a position icon we can add the position icon and then pick the icon over here We'll definitely need a path to follow this path. So we need to pick that one too. I'm just going to add it. And this is how it looks. So it, it looks very like it's going somewhere else. So what we can do, um, one thing we can do, we can just slow it down first. Maybe slow it to 15%. And let's see how it looks. It's still not quite there. So we can change it a little bit more, maybe to 50%. And yeah, now it's quite following the path. We can go to the path follow also. We can change the velocity. Um, I'm going to scale it down to maybe 50. Uh, also the variation, maybe 20. Let's see how it looks. So these are the things we can actually play with these numbers and we can look how ultimately it looks. So yeah, this is quite, um, it follows the path and there's also the, um, because of the noise modifier, we can see the changes going on. Another thing we can add is the option force. So there's definitely quite a lot of options that we can add. Um, and we just need to play it with, the, with all these options. We can also for the force option, we can change um, the building noise over here. We can change the strength, frequency, all those things. Um, we can also change this options. Maybe I'm just going to increase um sorry decrease a little bit and so yeah this is how it looks at this moment now the thing i'm gonna do for the slow i'm going to make it a little bit higher maybe 70 percent and so it's more organized and uniform um in the circular way so this, this is how we can just create a quick path simulation with Typeflow. Um, right now, it looks something like this. We can change it more to add with, if we add 
quite a bit more options and we can just change the numbers and have a look how it goes. Yep. Yeah.